Well, hello and a very warm welcome to you all. After seeing the blazing badass Seldon and the aspirationally extravagant Carnival, Kia brings to you something wild. It has already created a huge anticipation and was such a runaway success at the Auto Expo that it was awarded the best show car. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world premiere of the Sonnet, right here from the Kia Design Studio. And it's a big proud moment today as we witness Kia Motors' second world premiere in India with the Kia Sonnet. I'm Angad Bedi and I'm going to take you through the story of the Sonnet. What makes it wild? What makes the design so distinctive? What makes the technology best in class? And today we meet the extraordinary team of thinkers, the designers and its creators. And of course, staying true to Kia's promise to surprise. To tell us more about Kia Motors' vision of their brand new SUV, let's welcome Mr. Ho Sung Song, President Kia Motors Corporation, joining us from Seoul, Korea. Hello, Mr. Song. Thanks, Angad. Hello, everyone. And thanks for joining us today on yet another milestone occasion for Kia Motors. In just a moment, we will have the world premiere of the long-awaited Sonat Compact SUV. Before I go any further, on behalf of everyone at Kia, I hope that you and your loved ones are staying safe and healthy during these unprecedented and challenging times. Despite much uncertainty in auto industry so far in 2020, I'm very happy to say that the Kia brand continues to be recognized by major industry awards and organizations. First, not one, but two Kia models were honored at the 2020 World Car of the Year Award. The Telluride Premium SUV was declared the overall World Car of the Year, while the Soul EV crossover was named World Urban Car of the Year. Meanwhile, we are also delighted to learn recently that Kia has been ranked number one by JD Power in 2020 US initial quality study, making Kia the highest ranking mass market brand for the six consecutive years. All of us at Kia are both proud and humbled to see that our continued effort aimed at the offering consumers stylish vehicles with world-class quality, safety, and convenience have been recognized in earnest this year. Let's now turn our attention to India and take a quick look back at the incredible journey that Kia brand has enjoyed in India so far. Following the construction of our state-of-the-art manufacturing plant in Anantapur, Andhra Pradesh, Kia's long-awaited market entry kicked off with the start of sales of online booking for the Seltos Media SUV almost exactly one year ago today. The Seltos was an instant hit and it became the segment lead SUV in the first months on sales while propelling Kia to the position of India's third largest car makers in terms of the passenger car sales, reaching market share of 6% in the first half of this year. But Kia's presence in India means much more than winning the hearts and minds of local consumers. In fact, our total investment so far in India is around 2 billion US dollar, and our plant in Anantapur plays crucial role as global export base to 70 countries in the Middle East and Africa, and Latin America and Asia. As you know, the demand for compact and media SUV has exploded in recent years, both in India and other major regions like Europe. And the growth of the segment is expected to continue in 2020 and beyond. This is why we entered the Indian market with Seltos, which is greatly representative of Kia's strong heritage and success in the global SUV market, and has shaped the Kia brand image in India in terms of the craftsmanship, innovations, and quality. While smaller than Seltos, all this Sonnet is also made in Indian SUV for global markets. And just like Seltos, which has enjoyed a huge success in major markets, we at Kia have faced that Sonnet will be another global hit. Everything about all this Sonnet is uniquely Kia and sure to bring delight to both drivers and passengers. The Sonnet will take a direct aim at the segment leaders, not only in India, but on the worldwide stages. 
with the aggressive and hip design languages, quantum drive dynamics, and array of latest high-tech features, the Sonnet will put an exclamation point on our ambition to become the brand of choice, especially among India's rising millennial and Gen Z consumers. We are confident that the new product fills needs in a clearly growing SUV market, both in and out of India, and will attract a wider number of consumers to the Gia brand. We will learn more about design and product characteristics of the Sonnet in more detail next from my colleagues Karim Habib and Lawrence Glau. In closing, the Sonnet is another clear sign of confidence we have the capabilities and potential of India and its people. And I thank everyone who has shown faith in our exciting journey so far. I certainly hope that you have the chance to experience all your Sonnet in the very near future, not only through test driving the car in person, but also through our digital channels, as overall sales process will be available fully online. Thanks once again for taking time to join us, and please enjoy the rest of today's program. Thank you. Tanyaba. Thank you, Mr. Song. Made in India for the world. And that's the all new sonnet, ladies and gentlemen. Someone has said every great design begins with even better story. And to narrate that, joining us all the way from Seoul, Korea, is Mr. Kareem Habib, Senior Vice President and Head of Kia Design Center, Kia Motors Corporation. The man who leads the brilliant team that creates these amazing designs and brings them to life. A very warm welcome to Mr. Kareem Habib. Thank you, Angad. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. Kareem Habib is my name. And I am responsible for the, uh, the whole team that is the great team at Kia Design. Mr. Habib, the Sonnet is being premiered in India before being launched globally. Has that influenced its design inspiration? Yeah, definitely. The, the Sonnet was very much inspired by, by India. As a matter of fact, our team traveled uh, here before the project started and um, discovered many things about India. It was actually very influenced by the, the young and, and passionate and dynamic culture that you find in India. Uh, we were also inspired by the traditional architecture, but also the modern architecture that you find in, in the big cities here in India that are, that are developing extremely fast. Um, you know, the, the, the actual silhouette, the presence of the vehicle has a lot to do with what we believe the young people and the young at heart in India would like to have. Uh, or smaller details like materials or light or colors that are obviously very important in India. But, uh, why don't you take a look at it uh, for yourself? Well, all I can say is I just can't wait to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kia Sonic, made in India for the world, inspired by India's young and passionate culture. Strong, trendy, and a design marvel.
Mr. Habib, the first thing, what is so distinctive is the sonnet's bold profile. Please tell us more about the inspiration behind the design. The sonnet was inspired by the baby elephant. The baby elephant is a fantastic, little, powerful, compact, friendly animal. And we interpreted that in a few ways. For example, we have a long hood. We have a powerful uh, front, powerful uh, stance, powerful presence in the front. You have the black A-pillars that allows as well for that dynamic silhouette for the hood to seem longer for a, such a compact vehicle. We have these generous big volumes. You have really strong volumes over the wheel arches. So you have really compact, powerful, round. And um, that really, all in all, if you take everything together, we really feel when you look at it and you look at the baby elephant, we really can see the link. So we believe that kind of power is visible from the inspiration all the way to the final design. I see the Kia Tiger nose grille looks more powerful than ever and also some new additions to the front side. So what's the story behind these gorgeous headlights? Well, the headlights and the Tiger nose grille, which you mentioned, is of course very important to every Kia. In this case, we tried to evolve the Tiger, Tiger nose grille to something a bit more powerful. That's why you have it. It has this kind of tusk-like uh, feature to it. Uh, the headlamps, uh, the headlamps you know, on every car, they are very important for the character of the vehicle. That's why we designed what we call the Tiger Eye Line, so that you have this powerful, concentrated look to the vehicle when you look at it in daytime and nighttime. Uh, getting back to the grill, we were actually inspired by some details that we saw traveling to India. Some traditional architecture has some very sophisticated maths into the architecture of it. For example, we saw a, a well, a step well, that has these beautiful structures that we literally uh, integrated into the design of the Tiger Nose Grill. Um, we also, uh, in the rear, uh, we tried to create that same sense of power. Uh, that's why the car feels very wide for a compact car as it is. That's why we have the wraparound glass that really uh, gives the car a lot of width. And that's why the signature of the tail lamps, uh, similar to the front, has a very continuous uh, feature to it that really gives it a lot of width. Strong presence indeed. So let's step inside for a moment. Kia is always a brand that's been ahead of its curve. That brand that understands that cars are no longer just modes of transportation, but lifestyle spaces. What are the new surprises we can expect from the interiors of the Sonnet? The interior of the Sonnet is designed in the same way as we do for many vehicles. We believe that life inside the vehicle has to be very natural, has to be very intuitive. And at the same time, you have to have a, a strong emotional connection to the vehicle. You live with it every day. And today, the digital aspect is very important. So that's why we designed a digital cluster, as well as a central display that may be one of the biggest in this segment. Uh, we also uh, believe, and especially for, for India, uh, climate inside, uh, the temperature inside, the airflow inside is very, very important. That's why we have these big kind of double layer vents that allows really for uh, ultimate uh, comfort. So really, uh, as you see, it's all about naturally using technology and feeling comfortable and um, intuitively functioning inside the vehicle. Wow! Sporty, bold, tough and wild. Kia Sonnet makes quite a powerful visual statement. Thank you Mr. Habib for taking us through the design story of the Sonnet. But don't go away just as yet. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Now talking about design in today's world, design and styling is becoming more important than ever before. It expresses our individuality and hence inspires everything from fashion to accessories to gadgets and cars. It's a big influencer in the purchase decision. And joining me and Mr. Habib here today is a young fashion designer who has created a niche for himself with his distinctive sense of style. He's unconventional and you can always expect the unexpected. Please welcome the Gen Next eclectic designer Nikhil Thumping. Thank you, Nikhil, for joining us. Thanks for having me, Angad. For Very a true meeting of minds. Please come. So, Nikhil, you're on a Kia show. Mm -hmm. And the world has seen your designs. And if I may say so, they're simply stunning. Thank you. Well, so and so are Kias. So, my question is that, do you find any resonance with uh, Kia's path-breaking design? 
To be very honest, that's one of the reasons why I was so excited to be on the show is because Kia's DNA resonates with everything I believe and stand for. It's fun and fierce, it's local yet very global, it's quirky but with intelligence and all of it comes together in one product. So for me, that was extremely exciting. And for me, I think today, Angad, uh, personal styling has gone really transcended boundaries. It's not only about the clothes that you wear, but the whole brand that you build around you. Your house, your accessories, your toys, especially a car for a man. So for me, I think that kind of excited me a lot to see this product and its launch. Amazing. So Mr. Habib, in fact, I had a question to ask you. Does design an automobile really help you connect with the target audience? Or as you guys at Kia like to say, the young at heart audience? Oh yeah, definitely. I think it's uh, very important to us. We, we design our cars for people that are young or young at heart. As you know, today, the definition is really kind of changing. It's shifting constantly. I think being young today means being open, uh, being open to trends, being open to things evolving, changing, being flexible. There's so many new things that appear every day, whether it's te technology or fashion or what have you. And uh, there's many, many people, however, whatever their age is, that are completely open to that. And uh, that to us is youth, that is modern, that is confident. And those are the types of um, vehicles we want to design. And those are the types of customers we believe will want to drive our Sonnet. Absolutely, people are becoming more demanding these days and this keeps us on our toes. And I must say as a designer, it's so interesting for me to see how you've integrated Indian elements, especially Bauri, the Indian step well, for example, and also inspiration from India's wild, especially the elephant and the tiger. How do you take such inspiration and integrate in a global product? Local influences that you, you see every day in India uh, are very inspiring to us and we believe um, that because they're inspiring to us wherever we may come from, they're also very inspiring to people everywhere uh, on the planet. And that is because they're maybe based on some very universal principles of good design or art or craftsmanship. You know, I think some of the standards uh, in India are, are really of the highest level. So they can and will uh, be relevant uh, throughout the world. So. Um, or take the example, for example, uh, of, of youth or how dynamic and young the country is and the big cities like Delhi and the influence that has on the culture in India. And that is obviously universally relevant uh, wherever you may be. And we very much want this to be seen and felt in the sonnet and we believe it will be relevant to all of our customers uh, globally. Interesting. Well, thank you, Mr. Habib. For me personally, it has been a fascination to see how you integrated Indian-inspired influences in a product which is so global in its approach. And from the passion of India's youth to the interpretation of elements, the sonnet captures these perfectly. It's definitely going to be a cool new edition on Indian roads. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Habib, for joining us. And now we know why Kia designs are a rage in India. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks for guiding us through this. Thank you uh, to you out there who are watching this. It's been a real pleasure presenting the, the, the labor, uh, the fruits of our labor. Uh, it's, been, uh, it's been great working on this project. Uh, we wish we could have presented everything uh, in person, but as the situation is the way it is, we hope uh, first and foremost that everybody is uh, safe and everybody's healthy and um, that all of you will soon be driving lots of Kia Sonnets. So thank you and take care. Well, Nikhil, it's my turn to ask you a few questions. Let's do it. Follow me. Okay, so Nikhil, tell me, when you first saw this beautiful machine, the Sonnet, what were your first adjectives, words, or even emotions that came into your mind? Well, for me, Angad, I think a good design has a very universal language and approach. Any good design evokes the same emotion globally. For me, for what I can see from the Sonnet, the designers have not kept any stone unturned. It's wild, it's rugged, it's perfect for the Indian terrain. And more than anything else, it has a youthful vibe, which really expands the demographic of the audience. Nikhil, talking about elements, which elements of the Sonnet appeal to you the most? 
Well, for me, I think I I can get inspired by the whole car. But for me, I think the play of the LED lights, which is so unique and a class apart act, I think that's something which really resonates with me. And I would take that as a solid inspiration. It just gives the wow factor to the car, which I think resonates with my brand a lot. We believe in having that wow factor. And that's what I think I can connect a lot with. Thank you. It's been a pleasure talking to you, Nikhil. Thank you, Anga. Thanks thank for having me. Thank you for being here. Thank you. So we spoke extensively about the style, design and the beauty of the Sonnet. The Sonnet is much more than just that. And now we have the man responsible for finding that perfect balance between beauty and brawn, which makes the Sonnet a product like none other. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Lawrence Glaub, Vice President and Head of Global Product Management. Morning, Angad. It's great to be here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends and Kia brand ambassadors out there, a very warm welcome from my side. Please allow me to quickly introduce myself. I'm Lawrence Glab, the head of global product management at Hyundai Motor Group. And today truly is a special day for us because I'm making up on my promise, you know, that I gave uh, back in February at the Daily Motor Show to have great product induced impacts in the Indian market at very regular intervals. And today, it's my great honor and my great pleasure to launch Sonet together with you. Mr. Glab, Mr. Habib just spoke about the inspiration for the design and the style features that make Sonet unique. When it comes to technology, what is Sonet going to offer to our customers? Well, on the design side, uh, Sonet clearly is unique and stylish. On the technology side, we'll make sure that we offer a lot of features for our customers, including 1025-inch AVNT, uh, intelligent manual transmission, and an air purification system that is the world first, just to mention a few. So what makes Kia different from any other brand is that it always puts its customers' needs first. This has always kept Kia ahead of the others. How are we continuing this with the Sonnet? Well, thank you very much for the question. That's a very good one. And Kia sees itself as a trendsetter. We don't follow others, we find our own way forward. So, and part of that DNA, if you will, is that we launched the very latest technology, the very newest technology features in a market like India first. So we make sure that our customers will benefit from the very latest uh, and the most, let's say, better for their life at the very beginning as soon as we launch a model. So how does the Sonnet fit in the overall global Kia portfolio? Well, Sonnet is a global model uh, launched in India first. It will be produced in India for India. We will also use India as an export base, which is exciting news. So made in India will be exported to many, many markets uh, around in the area. And what is really exciting for us, Sonnet is the third model that we're launching in India. And again, I will promise you, there is much more excitement to come in the future from the side of Kia for the Indian market. And this commitment is what makes Kia our favorite automobile brand. It's exciting to see how technology, besides making driving a delightful experience, is being used to solve our most urgent needs. The smart air purifier system with virus protect is a terrific example. And talking about technology, well, I have someone who can take you through this. Now, I'm a huge tech enthusiast and really dig each new technology that comes in. On that note, I would like to invite a tech expert to discuss technology that is powering the Sonnet and its power pack features in greater detail. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bharat Nathpal, the CEO of iGyan.com, who knows the pulse of the new age Indian customer when it comes to augmenting cars with smart features. Bharat Nagpal, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Angad. Mr. Glaub, first and foremost, at the outset, congratulations on the new Kia Sonnet. A powerful combination of sophisticated technology and a bold new design. Now, I explore technology at all times, and I'm always amazed to see how it's constantly changing, getting all facets of our lives and making it more connected. Mr. Glaub, you being an expert, can you build over it in Kia's vision? Well, thank you very much, Bharat. And uh, first of all, let me 
talk about Kia's vision in India a little bit. We are a fairly new brand here in this country, and that allows us to really focus on the most relevant, most exciting segments with the most exciting body types. Now, hand in hand with that goes that we will also launch the most exciting, most relevant technology in India first. Technology will play a much bigger role uh, in our daily lives, not only today, but also in the future. And we from Kia, uh, we want to make sure that this technology will really change your life and your style of life for the better. True. And given that we literally have technology at our fingertips today, our lifestyles have completely been transformed. And everything is becoming smarter from our phones to our homes and our cars, of course. So with technology coming in play, I think today's smart consumers need smarter cars. Would you say the future belongs to connected cars? Yeah, absolutely, Angad. Uh, and I like that, that quote, intelligent cars for intelligent people. And um, the way technology you know, uh, is interacting with us and is influencing our everyday, um, this trend will continue. And it's only natural, you know, that the car will be an essential part of this development. And in the future, we will use the car around our lifestyle with connectivity, with infotainment, with everything that we desire, you know, from the ecosystem that we use anyhow. So it is not that the ecosystem will be built around the car, but the car will be part of the ecosystem of each individual customer. And that is something very exciting that we will keep building uh, with our cars and our technology. Yes, and taking cue from that, our ever-evolving lifestyles need constant innovation, and innovation is what is in Kia's DNA. Now, I am interested in knowing how is Kia Motors India bringing the future to the present with technology? Absolutely, Bharat. So society is evolving, lifestyles are evolving, technology is evolving. What does that mean for us? Now, at Kia, we believe that to technology, there is a functional aspect, but also an emotional aspect. And we want to make sure that we put a lot of focus on the emotional experience. For example, both the sound system, ventilated front seats, very intelligent luggage uh, compartment uh, configuration that will help our customers to emotionally link to their products. That does truly set the sonnet apart, Mr. Kla. Would you agree that now car companies have to use technology not for the sake of using it, but as a genuine differentiator to deliver safety, comfort, convenience, and joy to customers? Actually, Bharat, I couldn't agree more. Technology in itself is pointless, right? Technology just for the sake of putting it into our cars uh, doesn't make a lot of sense. We want to make sure that technology is really beneficial and creates value for our customers. In the end, if you will, technology is the tool to change the life and lifestyle of our customers for the better with Sonet. Thank you, Mr. Glob. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you. And I think you have a winner on your hands with the Sonnet. Well, thank you very much, Angad Parad. Uh, pleasure was all mine. And I really hope to be back soon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in. As I said at the very beginning, uh, special circumstances require special activities. It's been a pleasure to co-host this virtual world premiere of Sonat. Uh, thank you very much again and stay safe. Thank you, Mr. Glab, for your insights and Bharat, from what you just saw and heard, which are your top three features of the Sonat? Look, I know it's a long list, but I'm going to ask you anyway. So come. So the 10.25 inch display is something that I really like. It's sort of class leading. It's not only a good thing to have a large infotainment display, you get good navigation on there, but it's also safer because it's easier to interact with and it's also easier to touch while you're driving. Right. Another feature that I absolutely love is the ventilated seats. In India, the summers get really hot and humid. That's my favorite too, by the way. Yeah, so like <laughs> that feature is like pure bliss. The third, I'll have to say, is uh, the sunroof, uh, the electric sunroof. It comes in handy. You can get lots of light into the cabin, makes it feel airy and really spacious. There's so much buzz about connected cars today. Technology has changed the way millennials connect with cars today. Which tech feature of the Sonnet do you think will resonate most with 
millennials across India? So I think millennials want a connected future. They also want a connected present. Okay. So they want to be online all the time. They want to know what's going on in their lives and outside their lives, what's going on in their friends' lives. So the Uvo Smart Connect features in the car, up to 55 interesting uh, features that are in the Uvo Smart Connect, allow you to not only get a connected car, but also those uh, features directly on the center console of the car. Plus you have features like the ability to connect to the car via smartwatch. You can activate the car from your smartphone. So all of these connected features, definitely something the millennials will pick for sure. Well, Bharat, thank you for taking our time thank and you for so being much. here. Thanks a lot. It's been a pleasure. All right, you've all seen what goes into the making of a wild car. Now let's go to where it all begins, to see the magic happen, to the hub of all the action, where the Kia Sonnet comes to life. Let's go straight to Anandpur plant in Andhra Pradesh to meet the man at the center of it all, Mr. Kuk Hyun Shim, MD and CEO at Kia Motors India. Hello, Mr. Shim. Thank you for joining us from the Anandpur plant. We can't wait to see the wild sonnet in the making. Hi, thank you, Angadu. Namaste. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to express my sincere gratitude for being part of yet another milestone occasion for Kia Motors in India. Here at Anantapuro is where we began transforming Kia's dream into reality. And now we embark on a new journey with the sonnet produced right here in India for the world. Well, that's wonderful. From what I've heard, India has been the center of attention for Kia. Yes. And I'm proud to say, Kia's Anantapuru plant is the most advanced plant, not only in India, but amongst all Kia plants across the world, with an annual capacity of more than 3 lakh units is spread across the 536 acres and providing employment to more than 20,000 people. We have invested over 2 billion US dollars in our manufacturing plant. And there is an environment friendly facility with zero emission and 100% water recycling carried out within. In less than only one year of starting sales of its first product, Seltos, Kia Motors India has established itself as India's third biggest automobile brand. Seltos has taken the Indian market by storm, driving Kia Motors India to become the connected car leader. With more than 50,000 connected cars on Indian roads today. That's great news, Mr. Shim. But how are you dealing with the rising demand in the challenging situation of COVID-19? Has this also affected the timelines of the Sonnet? Well, Angadu, to meet the rising demands for gear products, we have taken all precautions and the safety measures, ensuring the production of the new Kia Sonnet remains on track. We have successfully completed the pilot production phase of Sonnet. We will be ready to launch it for our Indian customers as per schedule. With our belief in the power to surprise, we are sure the new Sonnet will wow Indian and world. And the pride is well placed, Mr. Shim. Now tell me, is the Made in India Sonnet similar in quality to Kia products in developed countries? You know, at Kia, quality is a way of life. The badge on the car is the assurance of high quality and value. Anywhere in the world where Kia cars are sold, as mentioned by Mr. Son, Kia Motors has been number one in United States in quality for six years in a row as for JD Power IQS study. And we are committed to provide the same global quality standards with the Sonnet. 
just like the Selpos and the Cannibal. Mr. Shim, we are confident that with India's new sonnet, the love for Kia brand will be greater than ever. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Angadero. And uh, stay safe, everyone who is watching us across the world. Danyawad. Moving on, I welcome Mr. TJ Park, Executive Director and Chief Sales Officer, and Mr. Manohar Bhatt, Vice President and Head Marketing and Sales, Kia Motors India. Welcome. Firstly, congratulations, gentlemen, on the world premiere of the Sonnet. I cannot say this enough, but I'm totally wowed by the Sonnet. Kia truly does have the power to most pleasantly surprise us with the amazing range of cars being launched. Mr. Park, let's start with you. The Sonnet has been creating quite a buzz since the Auto Expo in Feb. You must be thrilled that Kia is reaching out to new customers with the new Sonnet. That's right, Angad. Our target customer is a young and young at heart. Aspirational, always connected, and appreciate the good things in life. The Sonnet is a smart urban SUV. It has striking looks, offers robust performance, and is loaded with exceptional convenience and the high-tech connectivity features. It is a great fit for the lifestyle of young, ambitious Indians. Mm, well, looks like you have another winner in hand. And I'm sure you must have heard it enough by now. Coming to you, Mr. Bhatt. Look, I know everybody has a very different style of driving. Like, mm -hmm. uh, if you take my wife, she likes, you know, she likes an easy drive. Whereas, I can speak for myself, uh, I like to push the pedal a lot more. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Who's suited for the Sonnet more, me or my wife? Angad, I believe that there's a sonnet for both you and your wife. This is because we ensured that each customer gets a wide variety to choose from. Not just in terms of trim level, but also part in options. By offering them such a wide choice, there is a sonnet for virtually everyone. The sonnet will be presented with two petrol engine options. The refined Smart Steam 1.2 petrol engine and the performance oriented 1 litre turbo GDI. It will also come with a powerful yet fuel-efficient 1.5-litre diesel engine that will swallow kilometres effortlessly. Among the gearbox options, the Sonnet will feature a 5-speed manual, a 6-speed manual, a 6-speed automatic and a 7-speed DCT. We are also extremely excited about something very new, a new 6-speed IMT. Well, for those of us who are not very familiar with the term, IMT stands for Intelligent Manual Transmission. I just know it makes driving less stressful. So, tell us more, Mr. Bhatt. Angad, let me ask you a question. Do you like driving an automatic or a manual option? Well, sir, in all honesty, I prefer the manual. Uh, but, you know, um, now living in Mumbai, there's so much of traffic, all you can do is drive the automatic. Well, Angad, I'll classify you as an auto enthusiast in that case. So, okay, now imagine the experience of being in control with the gear in your hand, but still driving without using a clutch pedal constantly. That's what the IMT is all about. The intelligent manual transmission is an innovative gearbox that takes away the stress of driving, yet keeps the control in the driver's hands. There is no clutch pedal, so it relieves the effort and tedium in stop-go traffic. However, since the gear shift is being done manually, it gives the driver the control for that required reassurance. Now, combined with a gasoline 1-litre turbo GDI motor, it fulfills the need of auto enthusiasts like you, as well as those seeking just a comfortable drive. To sum up, the new 6-speed IMT offers the best of both worlds, performance and comfort. Performance and comfort, that's an unbeatable combination. Well, coming back to you, Mr. Park, you know that in today's times, customers can be very choosy. So how do you deal with that? Of course, we have to take that into consideration. For the first time in this category, we are introducing the dual trim concept with the addition of GT-Line trim. The GT-Line is visible manifestations of Kia's sporty spirit and the luxury appeals. The idea behind it is to attract customers who wanted the extra dash of sportiness, luxury, and attitude. Mm. And the GT-Line Sonnet will have a sporty red accent on the exterior, red accent on front and rear bumper, red calipers, and the GT-Line wedging to confirm the Sonnet aggressions. Talking about the interior, the old brake trim with the red stitching in select areas give the cabin a sporty feel, mm -hmm. and the alloy pedals further reinforce its sportiness. 
As you would expect, the GT line is available with the performance-oriented 1.0 turbo petrol engine and the punchy and the powerful 1.5 turbo diesel. So a lot of choices are available to fit the driving needs of individuals. I can totally imagine how cool that GT line will be. Mr. Bhatt, what about diesel customers? Well, Angad, when we made the Sonnet, we consulted with prospective and existing customers in the compact SUV segment extensively. Based on their feedback, we have decided to offer another segment first, the advanced and refined diesel automatic variant. With the diesel 6-speed AT variant of the Sonnet, customers can enjoy the convenience and comfort of an automatic with fuel efficiency and the talkiness of diesel. Let me reiterate, it is the first time in the segment something like this is being offered. Well, that's brilliant. I know a lot of my young friends are going to love the diesel automatic. Kia has always believed that cars are no longer just modes of transport, but lifestyle spaces that consumers are spending more and more time in. What are the other features the Sonnet offers to each driving experience or the time spent in the car? The Sonnet debuts with some fascinating segment first. Some have been discussed earlier, like the Pure Air Purifier with the virus protection and the segment best 10.25 inch HD AVNT touchscreen. Additionally, the Sonnet also offers remote engine start convenience even in the manual transmission. It has front parking sensors, a Bose premium 7 speaker system for an exceptional listening experience and UO connected car features with 57 functions for safety, comfort and joy with enhanced capabilities like over the air updates, voice assisted window open function among other things. That staggering array of segment first. You're all set to add new members to the Kia family in India then, are you not? Absolutely. The, the success of the Seltos and the Carnival earned us the appreciation and the affection of customers. The two Kia models have found over one leg loving homes across India and the, the Kia family is still growing rapidly. With the introduction of the Sonnet, Kia is sticking to its commitment of introducing a new product in India every six to nine months. With the Sonnet, we are more than sure to create a history again. Six to nine months, you're moving yes, at lightning speed. Yes, that's our commitment. Well, no doubts there. The Sonnet is poised to conquer hearts. Thank you so much, Mr. Butt and Mr. Park for taking time out and taking us through the lovely features of the new Sonnet. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Well, and that's all we have time for. Ladies and gentlemen, friends from the media, and everyone who took time out to join us today at the world premiere of the Kia Sonnet. Thank you for your support. Watch out for this wild, bold, sporty SUV and keep following Kia Motors social media channels for further updates. From me, Angad Bedi and everyone at Kia Motors India, thank you and goodbye.